is Egypt adds sex education into the curriculum to stop homosexuality. What? Yes. I thought it was the good news and then there was a twist. Yeah. On September 15th, the Ministry of Education in Egypt sent a letter to educational directorates all over the country with the order to integrate sexual education and anti-sexual violence and harassment campaigns into the primary education curriculum. Although on the surface, this may seem highly progressive for the Middle Eastern country, its main goal is to stop the spread of quote unquote homosexuality. Homosexuality is widely deemed immoral, scandalous, or offensive throughout Egypt. Although, uh, according to Sada El Balad, an Egyptian news site and satellite television channel, this decision was taken due to the increasing public concern that children might imitate deviant sexual behaviors, including homosexuality, by watching content through online streaming platforms. Egypt's Supreme Council of Media Regulation has banned many films containing homosexual references. It also recently implemented new regulations on online streaming platforms, such as Disney Plus and Netflix, to make sure that the content shown follows the, quote, societal norms and values. The Egyptian LGBTQ community often faces charges of immorality or, quote, unquote, debauchery, which could result in a sentence of up to 17 years of imprisonment. I like that Sword who just commented, Skittles turned me gay. <laughs> Read this one. Adam Rickster is saying, ah, had they taught me this, I would have never been gay today. <laughs> <laughs> ah, missed opportunity. Um, unbelievable. Um, I don't know. Do, do these people not have any understanding of how any of this works? I obviously... Wouldn't this backfire? Wouldn't more people be curious about, hmm, this seems interesting. I mean, these old people think this is uncool. There must be something to it. Like, if something naughty. Like, I think, like, Maybe. honestly, yeah, I think, like, they might actually turn some straight people by by this. Like, if you're, like... What? So, <laughs> no, I, I honestly think that... that I'm. I really think it would have that effect. Like, what is this naughty thing that we can't, we're not supposed to do? We should try it out. Like, like, I don't know. If you're constantly talking about it as this evil thing, you're going to create some curiosity about it. I mean, this I don't know the... why I'm laughing. I'm literally a bisexual Catholic schoolgirl, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to make more Susies. They're going to make more Susies. More Susies are going to come out of this. <laughs> Like, like, you know, on the negative, on the plus side, more people will be by, and and the slightly downside is like his lifetime of trauma, right? As Susie can tell. <laughs> so there's that, there's that. But more, yeah, guys, am I wrong? I understand that being by is like a, you know, if more people are capable of being by, if it, if they're introduced to the possibilities early on in their. So I think this might have that effect. I don't know. What do you think? Well, okay, it's more it's more dictated. Okay, the theory that goes back to the 1950s is basically that all most most people have some form of same sex same sex attraction. Um, it's but the de the degree to which they express it is basically dictated based on the acceptance and safety of their immediate environment. Um, uh, Dia saying the forbidden fruit appeal. So what I thought was interesting was I was like, okay, so maybe there might be some like positive benefit here. Like we can at least get some, you know, decent sex education going in Egypt. But then I started to think about what sex education means in many parts of the United States, where sex education is basically just abstinence only education. And this, this is what the government from this, the education from the state gives you because of pressure from conservative Christians. And then about, oh, okay, anti-sexual violence and anti-harassment campaigns. Like, that's good. That's positive. But then I was also thinking, okay, wait, what form is this going to take? Their anti-harassment campaign could be like, hey, girls, cover yourself more so that men don't feel like they can come after you, you know? So... I'm very skeptical about what. Yeah, a Valentine's Day card could be a harassment for them. Yeah, like genuine, genuine, uh, consensual romance 
could be portrayed as abuse and harassment and bad for them, right? So yeah, but we, we're gonna or or it become or it or come in the form of basically victim blaming. Yes. Um, and so I'm oh, very yeah, skeptical right. about what this form of like sexual education is going to be. I'd be very interested to learn more information about it. Um, but yeah, I think it's. I don't know. What do you think about this giant backlash that we're seeing against mm. LGBT content on streaming platforms that we've seen across North Africa and the, in the Gulf region? I think it speaks to like a great degree of insecurity. Mm -hmm. Like they know that attitudes are shifting and they're like trying yeah. to hang on to it. What do you think? Um, I think they are... The, there is nothing they can do. And the stronger they stand against it, the more people, they're advertising it technically by doing so. By the way, no, no man just gave us a super chat. So thank you for the 40, is that rupee? Yes. Yes, 40 rupees. Thank you so much. Thank you, no man. Um, yeah, but I mean, this is such a red line for them. Like to have, to green light movies and tv series coming out that openly celebrates homosexuality these countries like i don't know if people can understand like I, I think a lot of people in western countries can't understand how big of a taboo this is right and for us to just see it displayed like at least like you have to do something see, like make it if you're watching it treat it like the taboo that it is right mm -hmm. To just have it like on TV, like what parents watching cartoons with children where there's a gay couple in there, like people are like have the over there, like in the, some of these countries, people are like have these people no shame? Like how is this? Like I don't know how to describe it so for you for people to get the context, the feeling that they feel. Like it's to them, it, it's kind of like watching broadcasting like porn. Oh, I didn't say P O R N to minors. That's how bizarre this is to them and how shows how degenerate and lost Western countries have become. It's just, it's such a taboo, such a red line that has been crossed and they're treating it. They're like, they're surprised that they're treating it as if they're the weird ones where mm -hmm. obviously there's something wrong with them. This is why Putin was so popular among a lot of conservatives around the world. Right? Yeah. Because, they're like, why is the world, why is the powerful Western world acting like we're the weirdos here when they're the weirdos, mm. right? Like, so having somebody powerful acting like, okay, there's something wrong with the world and we need to fix it, made these people like, okay, like, thank you. Like, at least a powerful leader is like, the powerful country is standing behind his values and stuff like that. And that's why it's good that Putin has been crushed, okay? It's not just about Russia. It's about taking their man out, right? you know? So this is, but, okay. So I want to highlight some of these comments as well. Um, oh, yeah. So what do you think about this? Do you because think it does, wait, this grooming? What is what grooming? I do think, I don't know if what this is what D means, but a lot of sex education in conservative countries for the girls is to, it's kind of like grooming them. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's showing, it's, sex education is about reminding them their role in society and turning them, brainwashing them into little good sex slaves for event their eventual, I want to say husband, but technically owners, you know? So that's what sex education for girls looks like, looks like to me when in, in conservative countries, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's what D meant, though. Um, I think maybe she meant when you were talking about um, how this is going to turn people bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, technically, yeah, yeah. The conservatives, this is actually, actually, these two are good. They mentioned this side by side because conservatives see uh, liberals' sexual education as grooming them, right, to make them degenerates. And we liberals see their sex education as also grooming because we see them as just brainwashing girls to be good little slaves for their owners, right? So we both see their version of sexual uh, sex education as grooming children. 
The solution um, is no one gets sex education. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I, 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 why did I remove the highlights from the Oh, wait. That was that? so funny. Wait. Uh, yeah. Here, I found yeah, it. Yeah, Bara is saying, my pansexuality is directly proportionate to my <laughs> lack of sex education. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Here, this one. Oh, I did this one. Tunisia was the first Arab country to add sex education classes in 2019. Wow. Hmm. I learned this while researching this news. That's fascinating. Thank you for sharing that, D. I didn't know that. Suha is saying, I went to sex education class to stop homosexuality and I ended up kissing a girl and I liked it. <laughs> See, that proves my point. Um, we got another super chat, another 40 rupees by no man. Ah, what thank is you. Thing? He's saying, at least they have sex ed. No, we don't know how good it is, but yeah. Do you think it will do more harm than good or vice versa? Without any sort of concept of the content i really can't say but of course having the sex education come under the explicit framing of it being explicitly homophobic like that i think can be really negative because like lgbt people in egypt are already faced with such a severe level of discrimination and hatred and abuse like literal torture um that making that messaging even more explicit to children in the form of like your teacher telling you this that it's gonna imbue a lot of really damaging values to people so i am worried about that <laughs> nico is saying abstinence only sex education is like hold it <laughs> potty training <laughs> That's such a good way of putting it. When you're trying to, yeah, potty train your kids instead of teaching them how to use it, you just say, well, just hold it. <laughs> but I can't. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.